Perfect competition. The competition part is pretty simple. Firms compete with each other to get you to buy their product. The perfect part is a little more complicated. For an industry to be considered perfectly competitive, there are four requirements. First, there need to be many firms. Now there's no exact number, but there need to be enough that no one has control over the industry. If one firm were to shut down, it wouldn't be noticeable. Second, each of these firms needs to be producing the same thing, as in identical or homogeneous products. If one firm's product was somehow better than their competitors, then that firm would have an imperfect advantage. Third, there need to be no barriers to enter or leave the market. That is, it's easy for a new firm to start up or for an old one to shut down. This helps to ensure that the market always produces at the right level, but we'll get to that in a second. The final requirement is that no one can control the price. This goes back to the many firms idea from before. Since there are so many firms, no firm can dictate their own price. Instead, all firms must sell at the market price. Think about it. If two identical products were sitting on a shelf and one cost more, which would you pick? Not exactly a competition. Perfect competition requires two graphs, one for the industry and one for an individual firm. The industry graph is where we show the total supply and demand, and so it's where we get the market quantity and price from. Since every firm's product is the same, there's no reason anyone could charge a different price, so the price we set for the market is the price or demand that every firm faces. The firm's output would then be set wherever their marginal cost crosses this line. But what happens if all the firms put together produce more or less than the market quantity we set on the left? Well, this is where the entry and exit rule comes into play. If the market is producing too little, then the supply curve will shift in. This will increase the price, which means firms will start making profit. Since it's easy for new firms to enter the market, many will looking to make a profit. The supply will then shift back out and the market will reach equilibrium. The same is true if firms produce too much, with firms leaving the market until things balance out. So there you have it. Many firms producing identical products without any barriers to entry or exit or any control over price. Sounds perfect.